Good morning, friend of mine. I am Pastor Hugh McKenzie, a pastor from the Seventh-day Adventist Church. A happy day to you and your loved ones. Every morning we share two chapters from the audio Bible narrated by Alexander Scorby and a devotional from one of the chapters shared. May you be spiritually blessed and refreshed as you listen. Please share the presentations so that someone else may be blessed. May God continue to bless you and your family as you listen every day. God bless you. Chapter 2 I lifted up mine eyes again and looked, and behold, a man with a measuring line in his hand. Then said I, Whither goest thou? And he said unto me, To measure Jerusalem, to see what is the breadth thereof and what is the length thereof. And behold, the angel that talked with me went forth, and another angel went out to meet him, and said unto him, Run, speak to this young man, saying, Jerusalem shall be inhabited as towns without walls for the multitude of men and cattle therein. For I, saith the Lord, will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and will be the glory in the midst of her. Ho, ho, come forth, and flee from the land of the north, saith the Lord. For I have spread you abroad as the four winds of the heavens, saith the Lord. Deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, After the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. For he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of his eye. For behold, I will shake mine hand upon them, and they shall be a spoil to their servants, and ye shall know that the Lord of hosts hath sent me. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for lo, I come, and I will dwell in the midst of thee, saith the Lord. And many nations shall be joined to the Lord in that day, and shall be my people, and I will dwell in the midst of thee. And thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts hath sent me unto thee. And the Lord shall inherit Judah his portion in the holy land, and shall choose Jerusalem again. Be silent, O all flesh, before the Lord, for he is raised up out of his holy habitation. Chapter 49 Concerning the Ammonites, thus saith the Lord, Hath Israel no sons? Hath he no heir? Why then doth their king inherit Gad, and his people dwell in his cities? Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will cause an alarm of war to be heard in Rabbah of the Ammonites, and it shall be a desolate heap, and her daughter shall be burned with fire. Then shall Israel be heir unto them that were his heirs, saith the Lord. Howl, O Heshbon, for Ai is spoiled. Cry, ye daughters of Rabbah, gird you with sackcloth, lament, and run to and fro by the hedges, for their king shall go into captivity, and his priests and his princes together. Wherefore gloriest thou in the valleys, thy flowing valley, O backsliding daughter, that trusted in her treasures, saying, Who shall come unto me? Behold, I will bring a fear upon thee, said the Lord God of hosts, from all those that be about thee. And ye shall be driven out every man right forth, and none shall gather up him that wandereth. And afterward I will bring again the captivity of the children of Ammon, saith the Lord. Concerning Edom, thus saith the Lord of hosts, is wisdom no more in Teman? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is their wisdom banished? Flee ye, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of Dedan. For I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him, the time that I will visit him. If grape-gatherers come to thee, would they not leave some gleaning grapes? If thieves by night, they will destroy till they have enough. But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbors, and he is not. Leave thy fatherless children, I will preserve them alive, and let thy widows trust in thee. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. For I have sworn by myself, saith the Lord, that Basra shall become a desolation a reproach, a waste, and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual wastes. I have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent unto the heathen, saying, Gather ye together and come against her, and rise up to the battle. For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen, and despised among men.
Thy terribleness hath deceived thee, and the pride of thine heart, O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, that holdest the height of the hill. Though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, I will bring thee down from thence, saith the Lord. Also Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished, and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof. As in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, and the neighbor cities thereof, saith the Lord, no man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. Behold, he shall come up like a lion from the swelling of Jordan against the habitation of the strong. But I will suddenly make him run away from her. And who is a chosen man that I may appoint over her? For who is like me? And who will appoint me the time? And who is that shepherd that will stand before me? Therefore hear the counsel of the Lord that he hath taken against Edom, and his purposes that he hath purposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. The earth is moved at the noise of their fall. At the cry, the noise thereof was heard in the Red Sea. Behold, he shall come up and fly as the eagle, and spread his wings over Bosra. And at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pangs. Concerning Damascus. Amath is confounded, and Arpad, for they have heard evil tidings, they are faint-hearted. There is sorrow on the sea, it cannot be quiet. Damascus is waxed feeble, and turneth herself to flee, and fear hath seized on her. Anguish and sorrows have taken her, as a woman in travail. How is the city of praise not left, the city of my joy? Therefore her young men shall fall in her streets, and all the men of war shall be cut off in that day, saith the Lord of hosts. And I will kindle a fire in the wall of Damascus, and it shall consume the palaces of Ben-Hadad. Concerning Kedar, and concerning the kingdoms of Hazor, which Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon shall smite, thus saith the Lord, Arise ye, go up to Kedar, and spoil the men of the east. Their tents and their flocks shall they take away. They shall take to themselves their curtains, and all their vessels, and their camels. And they shall cry unto them, Fear is on every side. Flee, get you far off. Dwell deep, O ye inhabitants of Hazor, saith the Lord. For Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon hath taken counsel against you, and hath conceived a purpose against you. Arise, get you up unto the wealthy nation that dwelleth without care, saith the Lord, which have neither gates nor bars, which dwell alone. And their camels shall be a booty, and the multitude of their cattle a spoil. And I will scatter into all winds them that are in the utmost corners, and I will bring their calamity from all sides thereof, saith the Lord. And Hazor shall be a dwelling for dragons, and a desolation forever. There shall no man abide there, nor any son of man dwell in it. The word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah the prophet against Elam in the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah king of Judah, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will break the bow of Elam, the chief of their might. And upon Elam will I bring the four winds from the four quarters of heaven, and will scatter them toward all those winds. And there shall be no nation whither the outcasts of Elam shall not come. For I will cause Elam to be dismayed before their enemies, and before them that seek their life. And I will bring evil upon them, even my fierce anger, saith the Lord. And I will send the sword after them, till I have consumed them. And I will set my throne in Elam, and will destroy from thence the king and the princes, saith the Lord. But it shall come to pass in the latter days, that I will bring again the captivity of Elam, saith the Lord. A wonderful day, or a restful night, wherever you are. Surely, 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 the Lord has been good. We praise Him for Calvary. We praise Him for His precious promises of His soon return. And we thank Him for His protection, His guidance, His provision, and His love while we tarry here below. As pilgrims and strangers journeying towards our heavenly home. Today is another opportunity to focus on the Word of God, and today we are looking at Zechariah chapter 2 and Jeremiah chapter 49. Jeremiah chapter 49 and Zechariah chapter 2. I'm reading now Zechariah chapter 2 verse 7. It says, the Bible says, Deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. Again, reading from the New American Standard Bible now, it says, Zechariah 2.7, 
Ho Zion, escape, you who are living with the daughter of Babylon. Today's message is entitled, A Personal Salvation, A Personal Salvation. Let us pray, dear God. We pray that you will speak with us through your word. Bless that boy, that girl, that man, that woman who is listening right now. In Jesus' name, amen. In a work entitled Day by Day with Dwight L. Moody, we find these words, open quote. It says, the thief on the cross had nails through both hands so that he could not work and a nail through each foot so that he could not run errands for the Lord. He could not lift a hand or a foot toward his salvation, and yet Christ offered him the gift of God, and he took it. Christ threw him a passport, and he accepted Jesus as his Lord and Savior. End of quote with some adaptation. The thief decided for himself and asked for salvation while the other thief cursed and swore his way to a Christless grave. The saved thief did not wait for his dying companion to join him. No, he decided for himself. You see, friend of mine, salvation is an individual matter. Salvation is a personal matter. We each must decide for God by ourselves. Our text in the book of Zechariah reminds us of individual responsibility for our own salvation. The name Zechariah means Yahweh remembers or Yahweh has remembered. The name was common among the Jews. It is almost certain that Zechariah was born in Babylonia. The book is named after Zechariah, the man whose prophecies it bears. Uh, Zechariah was probably a Levite and may have been a priest. According to Nehemiah chapter 12, verse 16, and Zechariah chapter 1, verse 1. O oh, friend of mine, our text reminds us that we must decide for Jesus by ourselves and for ourselves. The text says again, Ho Zion, escape, you who are living with the daughter of Babylon. Zechariah's prophecies came at a time of great uncertainty and anxiety when it seemed to the leaders as if the permission granted to the Jews to rebuild was about to be withdrawn. The prophet's message dealing with the work of God and the divine plans for the restoration were designed to bring encouragement to the flagging zeal of the Jews. Under the favor shown them by Cyrus, nearly 50,000 of the children of the captivity had taken advantage of the decree permitting them to return. These, however, in comparison with the hundreds of thousands scattered throughout the provinces of Medo-Persia, were but a mere remnant. The great majority of the Israelites had chosen to remain in the land of their exile rather than undergo the hardships of the return journey and the re-establishment of their desolated cities and homes. We say again, the great majority of the Israelites had chosen to remain in the land of their exile, Babylon, rather than undergo the hardships of the return journey and the re-establishment of their desolated cities and homes. And so God in mercy provided another opportunity for the Jews in the Medo Persian realm to return to the land of their fathers. The Lord foresaw the troublous times that were to follow during the reign of Xerxes, the Ahasuerus of the book of Esther, and he not only wrought a change of feeling in the hearts of men in authority, but also inspired Zechariah to plead with the exiles to return. Therefore, Zechariah says in our text, 
O Zion, escape, you who are living with the daughter of Babylon. Yes, deliver thyself, O Zion, O people of God. Deliver thyself by a speedy return to thine own land, and do not destroy thyself by continuing in that polluted, devoted land. Those that would be found among the generation of God's children must save themselves from the untoward generation of this world. That was Peter's charge to his new converts in Acts chapter 20 and verse 40. Save yourself from this untoward generation. Oh, friend of mine, each person must escape for himself or herself. Each person must decide to return for himself or herself. And so that reminds us that salvation is a personal matter. Each must decide to accept Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior or her Lord and Savior. Mommy can't help in this matter and daddy can't help in this matter. As far as the decision is concerned, it must be your decision. And so Ezekiel chapter 14 verses 14 and 20 declares, Ezekiel chapter 14 Verse 14 and verse 20 declares, Though these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, they shall deliver but their own souls by their righteousness, saith the Lord God. Though Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, as I live, saith the Lord God, they shall deliver, neither son nor daughter, they shall but deliver their own souls, by their righteousness. Romans chapter 14 verse 12 is so clear we cannot miss it. Romans chapter 14 and verse 12 says, So then, every one of us shall give account of himself to God. So then, every one of us shall give account of himself to God. We must save ourselves, then encourage others to accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. O oh, friend of mine, the steps to salvation are found in the description below this video on YouTube. The steps to salvation. One, I must acknowledge I'm a sinner in need of a Savior. Two, I must confess. I must confess every known sin and ask God's pardon. Three, I must repent from serving Satan and accept Christ as my Lord and Savior. Then I must be baptized. Then I must be a part of the body of Christ the church. Then I must live for Jesus each day through the power of the Holy Spirit while I observe the spiritual disciplines. Oh, friend of mine, we must save ourselves from this unto our generation and heed the words of Zechariah in Zechariah chapter 2 and verse 7 Words that are not only for the Jews back then, but for us in this century. Ho Zion, escape you who are living with the daughter of Babylon. Don't live, don't choose to live and die without God in this sin-polluted world. Choose Christ, my friend. Choose Christ and live. Choose Christ and live. Heaven will be worth it all. Let us pray, Father. We thank you, Lord, for your word that is so clear that like the thief on the cross, we each must choose Christ for ourselves. We must make that decision for ourselves so that, God forbid, we make the wrong decision. We wouldn't be able to blame anybody else but ourselves. Father, today we lift before you all those who have made prayer requests. And Father, these two individuals have asked that we lift them up by name. Lift them up by name before you. And so we're praying today for Alyssa and Nigel. Alyssa and Nigel, that you would bless them. Bless their goals in life, dear Lord. Take control of their minds and reveal to them your plan and your will for their lives. Guide them, Lord, every step of the way. And as they yield themselves to be obedient to your will, we pray that you will fulfill Psalm 32, 8, in their experience, you said, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. 
I will guide you with mine eyes. Guide them, dear Lord, in every aspect of their lives. Bless them and guide their relationship to the destination that you have chosen for them. For when we choose your will, then we experience true and lasting happiness. Father, we pray for someone who is asking that you will help them to grow closer to you, to be dedicated and to have the zeal to serve the Lord together with their children. Bless this person, Lord. Grant that they would have the zeal that you had while on earth to serve you and that their children will follow in their footsteps. Remember the others, Lord, who've made prayer requests, Lord. Please look upon each one of them and tailor the answer that is best suited for each individual. And Father, may those who have not yet chosen Jesus make that decision right now as they hear this message. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.